All right. Hello. Hi, David. Hi. Welcome to uh, another episode of the Brio in the Box podcast. Today we're doing another coach feature. It's Jessica. Yay. Hi. Hi. Jess. We always call her Jess. Um, how are you today? I'm good. How are yeah. you? Are you terrified? Yes. Yeah, me too. No, I'm not really. It's I fine. was going to say, <laughs> what? <laughs> My first one, I was very terrified, so I, I get it. Um, so we're just going to talk a little bit about you. Okay. Um, we'll start out with uh, you as a kid. Where did you grow up? Ooh, Star City. Star City. Yeah, not a city. Like it, 300 people. Is it probably. a town called Star City? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So it's, I'm from Alberta, ahead. so I don't know all these little small towns. And there seems to be a billion of them in Saskatchewan. As well as lakes, right? Yeah. Star City. <laughs> yeah. Where's Star City? Halfway between Melfort and Tisdale, which I think people will be familiar with. Okay. And I did go to school in Tisdale. Some, okay. So. so it's small enough that it doesn't even have its own school? It does have a school. Okay. Um, my parents actually were divorced when I was in grade one, so I kind of went back and forth between Star City and Tisdale. Gotcha. So, but cool. I always say Star City. It's Star City. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's a great name. Moose Jaw and Star City. Yeah. Um, so in school, did you guys have sports and stuff or was it too small for that? Oh no, we had sports, but not for me. Not for you. Uh, no talent. No talent. <laughs> I rode a horse you actually rode a my horse. whole life. Okay. Um, basically from when I was really, really small, I would get off the bus, saddle my horse and ride till dark and really? that was it. Yeah. And okay. then like about 16, I think I discovered boys in cars right. and like my horse was neglected. So yeah. it was, you gave up my on parents the horse. had to sell him. <laughs> so you were the crazy horse girl that oh, yeah. every school has? Funny. I went to school uh, in grade five in Star City, and I was moving to Tisdale in the fall. Or yeah, in the fall. Yeah. And my grade five teacher wrote me a note and was like, "Try to forget about your horse. <laughs> Maybe you'll make friends." Right. <laughs> you <know? laughs> so, so you were a horse girl until sixteen, and then you were a boys and cars girl. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, sports. <laughs> no sports. No sports. No fitness. No sports. <laughs> Fine. Um, so you went to school there. Did you do anything post secondary? Yeah, I'm an electrician by trade. Cool. Um, I did take a year of university, uh, did not get invited back. Yeah. Uh, that was not super successful. I was, I was the same way. Yeah. And university was not for me. <laughs> no, uh, I wish, I wish I had tried harder, but, yeah. um, I was just going to be an electrician until I figured out what I wanted to be. Right. Um, and then I ended up being an electrician. So yeah. that's what I did. <laughs> that's cool. And so, and you work on the side, you have your own, I shouldn't say on the side. I think, I feel like your brio job is on the side of your actual job. What, so you have your own consulting business. I do, yeah. I actually have three jobs. Oh, like, wow. I mean, I consider Brio a job. Oh, yeah. Um, so I coach a day or whatever a week, and yeah. then I work for Alliance Energy, and I have, this. Is, I'm almost 10 years in. Oh, so, wow. So, yeah, I started my apprenticeship with them. I did lots of other things, and then after we had children, I didn't want to work full-time. Right. Um, and our boss offered me kind of flexible hours and so for 10 years I have been doing health and safety for them which That's I enjoy awesome. yep. uh, because it's only part-time a few years ago I took my favorite part of that project and started my own business which is workers compensation consulting gotcha. uh, and I love that getting people back to work is kind yeah. of fun and exciting and so I do do that for other companies as well That's so awesome that's what I do with my time. Cool. <laughs> You're a busy person. Well, I wouldn't <laughs> say that, but <laughs> a casually busy person. Yeah. So your family all crossfits with you. Who do you oh, have yeah. in your family that we started for Brian actually? Oh really? Okay. Um, we were going to Motion Fitness or Moss and Health and Fitness, uh, and he started that huge project at Agrium, and he was working like lots, like right. lots and lots. So um, it was physically and mentally draining for him, and he would. I don't know, go into the gym and like move something and then come mm -hmm. home. And so we were looking for a solution for him. Like what, what could we do? And, and CrossFit was like, you know, show up with your shoes and your water and someone will tell you what to do. Yeah. So we started for him. I actually thought I would hate it. I was like, Oh, there's not enough cardio. It's not really <laughs> for me. Yeah. Um, and was very surprised to find that I love it. Yeah. Um, I think, I guess, Sorry, we're supposed to be still talking about my family. Yeah, not no, me. it's fine. We can Thank talk you. about it. We'll just let it flow. It's um, good. Yeah, and so the children started cross as yeah. well. And Sadie is now like a full-fledged member yeah. of Brio, which is very exciting for me. how old is Sadie? 14. 14, yeah. yeah. So she can officially do the Open this year. Yes, Jocelyn awesome. already talked to her. And so this will be my first year in the Open too. Oh, really? That's cool. <laughs> yeah, nine years in, I guess. Yeah. Magic number. So. And then Grady does it with the kids program. One. He does, yeah. And it's really great for him. At the beginning of covid uh, we, I guess like the gym was shut down and so then we're trying to work out as a family. Yeah. <laughs> and I noticed 
that he would squat basically on one leg. Oh, really? Uh, and he was doing everything on one leg. Mm. And so because my chiropractor will take texts and phone calls, I was like, what is going on here? Because everything is shut down. I can't do anything about it. Yeah. Um, and so she gave us some tips, and he's been working on it. Uh, he saw Tyler, like, from Mackie okay. Physio yep. uh, about it as well. And so he, like, he has a prehab routine he has to do. Yeah. But I think it's so great for yeah. the kids. Like, oh, Sadie... Yeah. When I was 14, I just wanted to be skinny, yeah. right? And she wants to be fit. And yeah. I'm like, amen, that's a great goal. That's super so, awesome, yeah. Yeah, so I was happy yeah. about that. Jocelyn's talked about it before where very traditionally like bodybuilding training tough is like making yourself less, right? It's like losing weight and getting smaller and getting more petite, whereas CrossFit is more like, what can I do? Like, what can I achieve? Like more and more and more, you know? It's, it's I think, way healthier for kids super and for body image for girls and and everything so i'm really happy (coughs) and uh, like she could have a worse influence than jocelyn right for sure i was like if i would have had access to like that information when i was 14 i i would i just wish right like i would be so much happier but if i could go back in time that's like a main thing i would do i spent my my teenage years uh playing video games and eating pizza pops in uh, my friend's basement and too. I wish I would have discovered it earlier. Okay, cool. Um, and I apologize to Shirley because I forgot to ask her about her family, but she does as well have a family. So sorry, Shirley. <laughs> I totally dropped the ball oh, no. on that one. I've met them. They're lovely. Yeah, they're great. Great people. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about them in a future podcast. Um, so you said you wanted to start CrossFit for Brian, but how did you guys first discover it? It's a funny story story kind of um we were going to like I think it was called world gym at the time and I saw this poster and it was like we're switching to bi-weekly payments and I was like oh okay from monthly or whatever yeah. and then I, it's cheap I guess yeah I noticed that they charged me the same but you know there's like two extra payments okay um and so when I asked them about it they said oh uh well when people notice we offer them a free month and I was like <laughs> Yeah, but that's not a free month. I already paid for that month. Yeah. And so when we were looking around, um, this somebody talked to us about CrossFit. I think it was actually Brian's cousin. And he's like, well, Jocelyn Mallard and her husband own that CrossFit on Central Avenue. You should yeah. go there. And I was like, oh, well, I knew her parents, right? Because when I was an apprentice electrician, they were renovating their house. So like 20 right. years ago. Um, and they were so incredibly sweet. To me. They are sweet people, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my journeyman and I, that was one of our projects, and I looked forward to going there. She was the sweetest lady. Yeah, she's uh, always, like, feeding everybody. Uh, all the all the people that come by the house to do work, you get fed snacks and pies I, and stuff. <laughs> she made coffee cake one time, and I probably had no lunch. Like, I just was, yeah. you know, super unhealthy, early 20s. And I just remember being so thankful at how sweet and nice she was. Yeah. And so when we were looking around fresh off the heels of like this weird billing thing with the other business. Um, I think part of your program was like you, if you don't want to come back, we don't want you to have to come back and we just cancel your membership and you stop paying. And I was like, okay, that sounds way better than this weird contract thing. And I, you know, like I really like Jocelyn's parents. And so we ended up trying CrossFit and, and (laughs) stayed, I guess. (laughs) Yeah. We went to a bring a friend and it, it ended up being like, super fun and way more cardio than you expected well yeah that do you remember you used to have a shirt that was um well what do you do for fitness i lift weights yeah. and what do you do for cardio well, i lift weights faster that's yeah. pretty much it right sure. like you just lift the weights faster yeah. so. i think that's always the big shock to the the cardio people is when they first try crossfit they assume it's just weightlifting and stuff and then they get destroyed cardio wise and they're like what I thought I had cardio. I thought I was fit. "Eh, It's a different kind of cardio. It definitely is. No, that's good. So what's, uh, do you remember your first workout? Do you remember what we did on the bring a friend? I just remember being box jumps because I did this weird jump down and like two jumps and back up because Braden, remember Braden? He made a weird comment. He's like, hey, you were a bring a friend. I remember that box jump. (laughs) Like, okay. Um, But the thing I think that really got me the most about CrossFit is I used to, things would make me frustrated yeah. in the rest of my life, like work or, or my husband sometimes, <laughs> my kids. Shout out to Brian. <laughs> yeah. And I realized, like, I would walk in the building with this, like, hamster running on the wheel. I was thinking about things that made me angry. And now I sound like I have an anger issue. But yeah. um, after trying really hard and spending all my time counting and trying hard, 
the hamster like I didn't even know I had a hamster right yeah. like it was just like that was gone that's awesome and so one day I just realized oh I walk out of here and I'm really happy every day yeah. and it was from there that I was like every d- now I don't want to take a day off I just yeah. want to be there and see my friends and laugh and have yeah. a good time and be very sweaty and tired and hungry and leave <laughs> that's awesome yeah that's good mental health with the physical health yeah um so do you have any favorite movements that you enjoy oh yeah like anything light okay. um because i don't like a heavy bar okay i don't mind some pulling like yeah. pull-ups and and whatnot chest bar or maybe my pull-ups. favorite really wall balls i love a wall ball there you go you and Shirley are the opposite she was she- talking about she hates wall balls Okay, so I hate anything heavy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and things I'm bad at. I okay. hate those too. Yeah. Um, so if you were going to make a workout, it would be like light thrusters and chest bar pull-ups maybe? Yeah, really? maybe. Yep. Crazy. Um, <laughs> I didn't mind that one yesterday. Was that yesterday where it was like light front squats, some thrusters, oh, and a pulling movement? Yeah, we did the open workout repeat from 2021. Maybe. Yeah, 15 front squats, 30 toes to bar, 15 thrusters, and then you switch it up with chest to bar and bar muscle ups. That is a fun workout. That's a really good one. I always get crushed, but it's good. Maybe not the lifting at the end. It yeah. didn't go that well, and Ray was sitting right there, and she's like, Jess, you just need to try harder. Yeah, that's like, it. I always try harder. That's the secret to success. <laughs> you just got to try harder. <laughs> yeah, I haven't mastered that yet. So you like light stuff, and you don't like heavy stuff. Yeah. That's, that's fine. I feel <laughs> like I'm the same. I'm just not meant to be a big, strong crazy guy i'm too skinny too light that is not my problem either you know, i just don't so. like to lift heavy things <laughs> yeah, fair enough i do i do like to lift the heavy things and honestly last sunday's workout that i was just super crushed by that yeah. right the deadlift and then the handstand push-up yeah and like forgot my own name and then there was something <laughs> afterwards right i was on the but yeah on the bike just oh, like yeah. what is going on yeah. and their walk out without my shoes and stuff <laughs> The like post-workout brain. Sometimes yeah. I feel like some people shouldn't even be driving after certain workouts, you know, where they're kind of like wobbly. It's like, you're borderline intoxicated right now. I told that to Sadie. We were just driving home and <laughs> she asked me if I could drive around. I was like, Sadie, I almost feel impaired. <laughs> like, <laughs> we should do I a study one day and like compare reaction time and stuff to like alcohol versus like post-workout. Yeah, wobbling. for sure. That would be an interesting study. <laughs> we're going to get like, it's going to be, CrossFit will be banned because of its you know intoxicating thing oh yeah let's not do that let's not do that okay okay we'll just keep it under the under the rug um so what made you want to start coaching oh i didn't um, you didn't want to no yeah. i just love crossfit <laughs> and had meant to take level one for a long time like before it even uh like covid right before covid got really serious i was signed up to take a class i was like no i really want to do this and you know it was expensive but i wanted to do it yep uh, I would probably never have coached except for on the last day, Jason, like the other, uh, coach from the seminar said, okay, now go out and practice on your friends and family. And I was like, what? <laughs> and I realized it's actually really fun to teach people like to deadlift or to back squat yeah. or things like that, that they don't typically do that teaching pe- my auntie Lori, teaching her or showing her movements like that and, and kind of trying to correlate it with grocery shopping right. or things like that how every day you need to be able to do this yeah to me that is so rewarding like That's oh awesome. you have knee pain well let me watch you squat right and I do that in my everyday life yeah. and my other job where it's like oh my knees hurt and I'm like okay well let me just come out and see what you're doing on the job site yeah. and realize like oh okay if I could just give you a few tips I think that you will get over it or whatever That's so awesome. yeah no it's so you went into the level one without any intention to coach zero and then you just started coaching in your garage. Yeah. That's awesome. And then level two, I took level two in August yeah. too, just because it was close. And I was like, I, of course I want to take it. It's right yeah. here. It's right even in my gym. So yeah, yeah, yeah we was, hosted it. And you'd only, how long was it before that you had done your level one? In January. And then level two was August. So right. not so that's even very a year. close together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was terrible and actually. And then <laughs> Jocelyn was also in that seminar. And I remember being like, oh, I wish she didn't watch me be an idiot. <laughs> but she was so helpful. Well, that's good. Yeah. The level two is definitely a, uh, a humbling experience, isn't it? Oh, level one was as well. Yeah, actually. I guess so. Even after like, it, whatever, eight years of doing CrossFit, I was still yeah. like, ooh, okay, there's so many things that I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. It's a great experience. Anybody that's ever asked us about doing the level one, we always encourage them to do it, even though if it's, even if it's the same information they've heard for years, it's just like a different environment and a different person explaining it. It's, it's awesome. So you did your level two and that's where they like really start getting into the coaching details. 
and you felt like you got crushed by that? Oh, I was terrible. <laughs> um, they were like, you have to teach this movement. Yeah. And as soon as I started talking, they were like, oh, like too many words and <laughs> all these things, right? And then at the end, they're like, hey, go home and practice what we taught you. And I was yeah. like, I don't even know where to begin. And thankfully, Jocelyn was like, okay, every time I teach a movement, it's like, where do I put my hands? Where do I put my feet? Yeah. What am I, you know, where's the starting? And I was like, oh, yeah, okay, I can do this, yeah. right? So I did learn a lot. Uh, and sorry, but every day I coach, I learn a lot. Yeah, that's <laughs> Screw mistake. For sure. <laughs> Absolutely, that's, that's it. It's funny yeah. because everybody, you know, they go into one of those scenarios and even if they've been coaching for years they get in front of a new environment and it's like they've never coached before and you just freeze and you're like I don't, I don't even know what to do with my hands and it's funny how a real life scenario it just seems more natural than when you're like practicing with friends or or whatever but I think the best thing about the level two is it really like it shows you how much better you can be right which is great for all of us and it helps you get there, you know, it like they, they do a very good job of um, not just like telling you what you're doing poorly, but like helping you get better at, at those areas you, you can improve on. That's exciting. So you're level two as well. Um, okay. What is the, we're just going to do some like quick fire ones. Oh, What's, great. Yeah. I'm not good at these. I know. Go ahead. I'm not good at going fast either. So <laughs> I always just talk about it anyways. Okay. So what's the last uh, book you read? Are you a book person? Yes. I, I read that's all I like to do, actually. Okay. Um, so are you a fiction or a nonfiction person? A little bit of everything. Yeah. Uh, I am working my way through Jocelyn's list of books, right? Why That's we a get big fat. list. Yeah, true. Yeah. That, like, blew my mind. Like, yeah. So slowly, I like to kind of put those, read a bit of that in with other books. Like, yeah. I am reading the last one in the Outlander series from Diana Gabaldon. Some people will know that. <laughs> I don't know that one. They're all like 900 pages. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, I bet I enjoy them. I, I like true crime, but I only allow myself one every so often because otherwise I think I'm probably being stalked for murder <laughs> and <laughs> but all these bad things will happen, but I do really enjoy them yeah. as well. So good. lots. I, I read all the time. I actually hate TV. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Do you do movies or anything or just... We'd, we do occasionally. Yeah. Um, and then Brian and I watched Yellowstone. Oh, yeah. Recently. Yeah. Um, that was like. That's an interesting one. We finally have a sh <laughs> We had a show we could watch together, yeah. right? Like he doesn't like anything where people don't have their lives together. Okay. And I said they don't make TV about that. So we <laughs> yeah, that's, basically that's not could not. <laughs> um, but I, I don't like TV typically. I would prefer to read. That's cool. Kind of nerdy. Yeah. But. I mean, Jocelyn's list is a big list. So I'll it is. Busy for I have her. my work cut out for me for yeah. sure. It's always funny whenever we read the same book together because she's so good at remembering facts and she'll be like, wasn't it really interesting when they were talking about whatever? And I'll be like, yeah, I remember that part of the book. And it's just like gone. Like, Remind me. <laughs> and yeah. then like paraphrase <laughs> it's like, for I me. know what you're talking about, but why don't you say it again <laughs> just so that we both are on the same page. Um, pineapple on pizza, yes or no? No, I don't actually like pizza either. Really? Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, so if you're not going to do pizza, what's your what's your go-to then? Oh, I wasn't prepared for this question. No, no. That's a tough one. Um, You know what? I One of my favorite things is to, like, broil the chicken in the oven and the chicken skin that's super, yeah, crispy like, crispy and, and delicious. Mm -hmm. I would rather do that. Yeah. Have you I, ever done pizza chicken? You, like, do that kind of thing with chicken breasts, and then you put, like tomato sauce and cheese and like if you want to do a topping like pepperoni or something on there we've done that with the kids before it's actually really good oh i think i'm gonna try that because yeah. what i don't like about the pizza is that the doughy stuff makes me yeah. not feel all that great so yeah. and that's something we could actually get into because you recently <clears throat> started following more of what jocelyn's been talking about for a while right you tend to oh. you switched up your diet quite a bit life-changing actually yeah. i'm so thankful that she did the seminars and it was like Oh, so what's like, the main change do you think you made? Like, would you call yourself keto or just like less grains or what? What do you sort of do? I maybe I'm close-ish to keto. Yeah. I never have checked. I just know if I eat less carbs, I feel a lot better. Yeah. And so, and learning about the oils and yeah. really trying to avoid flour and sugar. Yeah, um, vegetable oils. Those really helped her. She did a, the like intro nutrition one more time and Sadie was willing to come and see and yeah. at first she would like kind of glare at me <laughs> things that she had heard me tell her okay. right um but it was such good information and yeah. I 
like life changing. Like I think what happened a year and a half ago, it was a disaster, um, like skin and whatnot. And I asked Jocelyn if uh, diet had anything to do with hormones. <laughs> I'm still so embarrassed with that question because she was like, um, hormones are diet. Like it's, <laughs> it's all. And at that point I learned so much. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it was life changing to me, Yeah. but I have changed a lot of our recipes. Like the, the children eat waffles made out of squash, right? Yeah. There's, so they do, uh, make fun of me a lot, <laughs> but they do it. They, they definitely do it. And, and honestly, it has changed Grady so much. Like he used to struggle a lot at school. We'll get up late probably not eating the best breakfast because he's tired. Mm -hmm. Um, They don't eat at lunch. He talks too much. Uh, He just, he can't get any food in, right? And then he would come home from school just a wreck. Uh, So to get some fat and protein into him in the morning, in the form typically of the squash waffles. You should call them squaffles. Some people do in my family that are teasing me. Um, (laughs) But he, his schooling has changed like a hundred percent, maybe a little bit as a maturity or whatever, but yeah. it has changed. That's awesome. Yeah. It, it's changed us. I'm so thankful for yeah. <laughs> learning. That's good. Learning that. And Jocelyn's actually working on getting her nutrition one hundred and one thing as an online course. So that'll be available to people soon. Oh, Something I will we share, share. It yeah. with like everyone I know because it, it is good information yeah. for sure. That's awesome. Okay, back to our fast okay. track ones because we're just going so fast here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you an early bird or a night owl? Oh, early bird. Yeah, yeah. I am so nerdy like in bed at nine o'clock. Yeah, and you do our Tuesday morning shift, so that's not a problem. You don't mind getting up early. It's actually like half an hour earlier than I normally would just to go there and work out, so mm-hmm. it's yeah, okay. Yeah, you usually work out at 6 a.m. anyway, so. Which was a switch. Like we switched our schedule so that we could meet better with the kids. Yeah. Sporting. So we, Brian and I started going at six in the morning and I got used to six in the morning. Mm-hmm. I, I love it. Right. I would go get out of bed, work out, yep. come home, drink coffee and eat breakfast. And that's the way it is. But now that Sadie is a member, I'm having to shift right. to the evening, which is hard. Yeah. <laughs> She's not a 6 a.m. Well, it, that <laughs> class is really full too. Right. Yeah. So I don't want to force her to get used to it if she doesn't really like it and other people want to be in it. So yeah. Joss and I are not really super early morning people and it always like it's just baffling how many people just love to get get up and get it over with at 6 a.m. It's like our busiest class. Yeah. Well, like yesterday, I forgot that I worked out in the morning. You know, (laughs) it's the afternoon. I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to get ready to go to the gym. Oh, no, I already did it today. Like, it feels like yesterday. (laughs) Yeah. Dash has that same problem. He forgets, like, what stuff happened today or yesterday or three days ago. Time is just a construct to him. So there you go. You and the five-year-old. Are you a country music fan? I wouldn't call me a fan. Okay. Um, I like a bit of everything. Yeah. Have you received complaints about my (laughs) playlist? No. Um, I think it was maybe like Sawyer Brown from the nineties came on and people were looking around (laughs) like, what the heck is going on? Um, but I like a bit of absolutely everything except I haven't acquired a taste for jazz or Mm. blues or anything from the eighties. Right. So you're just, the eighties is a wash, a complete wash. (laughs) Okay. Um, but you could hear anything else on my playlist. Like if, if the workout is seven minutes and you have to give her, then I typically will like play the like super peppy canned mm-hmm. type music. Yeah. Um, but otherwise you may be subjected to my playlist. So yeah. I guess if you hate it, comment. <laughs> <laughs> and Let I'll us work know. on it. Let us know I'm, to change it up. I'm working on a playlist okay. that I will eventually get there or whatever, yeah. but I like a bit of everything. Cool. All right. Beer or wine? Oh, beer and yeah. only beer. Yeah. I knew that about you. Yeah. Are you an IPA person? Yes. Yes. I do love an IPA. Yeah. You have to be really careful though because they're pretty quite strong they are yeah so some of those double ipas too that was like 8.9 percent alcohol yeah, or whatever like, i know geez. and then you're like on the floor like what the <laughs> heck yeah. i did know that about you okay chocolate or vanilla oh chocolate chocolate oh except for if it's ice cream and then definitely not okay yeah. vanilla ice cream mm-hmm. but you don't you probably don't do a lot of ice cream now not a ton i'm yeah. not gonna say i don't um summer i have an easier time in the winter not eating ice cream but yeah summer i find it harder yeah so vanilla with your ice cream chocolate for everything else yeah okay. and then good quality dark chocolate like 85 yeah. percent or so grady i will come home from the store if he goes with brownie be like mom look what i got you because he hopes <laughs> i'll share it with him <laughs> does he like the 85 as yeah. well oh that's good yeah yeah that's what he'll eat like. anything though like well, wonder yeah. bar whatever yeah but he does like a good quality chocolate that's too. good because some kids <laughs> won't even like touch they'll like take a bite of the 85 and they'll be like it's too bitter. It's not sugary enough for them. Right. So that's good. He enjoys it. 
Um, okay, last main question here. Um, we started getting to this a little bit already, but why do you make CrossFit part of your life now? What's your What's your why? Oh, because my I'm my life is better because of CrossFit. Yeah. Right, I am happier. Everything is better. Yeah. Um, the hamster I, is out of the wheel. The hamster is out of the wheel. That was the main thing, to be honest. Um, like abs was something I hadn't anticipated as a, <laughs> yeah. as a 43 year old mother of two. Right. I just, yeah. it wasn't even on the list of things that I, I thought I wanted. Yeah. Um, it's cool that they showed up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but mainly it was because I am happier all over. Yeah. And I know starting my day doing hard things, it's like, I just feel more powerful. I feel stronger. I feel happier. That's awesome. I'm a nicer person. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a better me. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> and so I think making my family, not really making them, but encouraging them to do it as well, they are better too. Yeah. And so, and the whole lifestyle, like it's, it's a great group of people, right? Yeah. Every single class, no matter what time of the day, there's people in it that I chat with and yeah. everyone is there to try hard. I, you can't beat that. So yeah. that's why I do that. Absolutely. I think most of our members would say this is like their hour of the, their hour long class is like the best hour of their day. Right. It's just, yeah, maybe like there's seven to 10 minutes in there that I don't, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is so hard. Like yeah. the biking yesterday, oh, that man. was really hard actually. I know. But Those bikes, they get you yeah. every time. I know. I, I don't like it, but I like it at the same, I, well, I'm, I like it after it's over. Yeah. So for sure. <laughs> a sense of accomplishment. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming and chatting. Mm -hmm. Jess does our Tuesday morning. So, and then fills in whenever we need. Whenever. Her. You're very helpful. Thanks. Uh, awesome. Our newest coach as well. And she's already a level two. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not safe. You're going to be like a level three before you know it. Who knows? Maybe one day. Who knows? Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming and talking. Awesome. Thanks, David. Thanks.